And I'm Christy. I'm a classically trained chef. And I'm an at-home chef, but we both learned everything we needed to know about being in the kitchen from our abuelas. That's right. And today we're making a Roasted bednil. pork, right. right. Bednil, roasted pork. It's actually really approachable and it's something that you can definitely bring into your arsenal. Yeah, it's and, so easy. Honestly, yeah. it's a really quick and delicious flavorings. You throw it in there low and slow and you've got something beautiful to serve to your family. So you ready? Let's do it. Let's go. So I think when you think about roasting a pork, it's a, it's a little intimidating because you know there's so much myth around it. You roast the pork on big occasions. It's like it's a true. big, it's a big deal. So when you're doing it at your house, what are we roasting? Like I'm gonna go to the market and I'm asking the butcher, or I'm going into Publix and I'm looking for a cut of meat. What am I looking for? Okay, so if you wanna do this kind of thing, let's say on a Noche Buena, special occasion, special Saturday, that kind of special thing. Special Sunday. Special Sunday. You wanna ask for either a pernil, which is a pork shoulder, or you wanna ask for a paleta, which is a pork butt. We're going to make some holes so we can go ahead actually and start doing that. Okay. The best thing you could do is marinate it. You really want, just how we talk about in Thanksgiving, like brining a turkey. Right. And we talk about when we make that big lechon, um, marinating it overnight. We want to do the same thing with this. If okay. you don't have the time, it's fine. You know, it, it's going to be okay. You're adding so much flavor into but it. But like how much time? You should at least do a couple of hours. I would say six hours. Six hours. Yeah. Why are we making these slits? We're going to put stuff it with garlic cloves. Okay. Okay. So first, let's actually, so over here, I just made slits down the skin just until I get to the meat of it. It's going to help penetrate the the moho but it's also going to avoid it from tearing so when it gets really really crispy you just take a big hunk that way your skin stays really really nice and crispy okay perfect so let's do it all right let's do it we're doing the garlic here <laughs> yeah we could do okay. it up here as well and then um just shove it in there is there too much garlic never there's never too much garlic. not for not for pork there's never too much garlic and there's never too much salt. So that kind of brings me to the salt. It's okay. a lot of salt in the recipe, but that's that's just the thing. This really won't taste like anything if you don't put enough salt. What kind of salt are we using? Always kosher salt. Okay, so coarse kosher salt is actually what's going on here right now. This one is super duper coarse. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we wanna get that like really into it wherever you have a whole Stuff those guys in there. Okay. Let's go ahead and get that jar of mojo and put it all over our our pork. Okay. My God, it smells amazing. So good. Do you want to put the mojo on this side too? Yeah, we'll put the mojo on everything. So some people like to only put the mojo on the bottom side Sorry. and not the skin, but I actually like to put it everywhere. So let's put the rest of the salt and just like rub it in there. Give it a little love. I'll Let's hold it. Let's make sure that even this guy gets some salt as well. And then we'll do the bottom as well. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and then what is this? And then we've got our sazon. This we're gonna primarily put- On the bottom. On the bottom. We'll put a little bit at the top. Now, are we putting sazon on the skin part? We're gonna put a little bit of sazon on the skin part. Just keep in mind, don't put too much because it will brown. Because it naturally browns It here. naturally browns, yeah. Okay. There's a lot of fat, so it's gonna brown. So once we have it all seasoned? We'll once we have it all seasoned, then we'll put it in the fridge, we'll leave it there overnight. You wanna wrap it in plastic, of course, so your whole house doesn't smell like garlic and pork. Right. And then we'll take it out. Unless you do. <laughs> and then we'll take it out. All right, so we're going to the fridge. Yeah. Right. It's been marinating for 24 hours, and what we want you guys to see is how the skin changes. So you see, you can really tell that it's penetrated in there. That's what we wanna see. All over here, all those ju juices have seeped in. And then what we also did was we cut up an onion, mm -hmm. pretty large pieces if you see them, like look how big they are. Yes, because we want to do it at the same rate. So we know this is going to take about five hours, so we want the onions, onions yeah, to like to hold, hold up. up. <laughs> We've been together too long. Okay, Seriously. so 
what are we gonna do with this big, big guy? So we wanna make sure that before we roast it, we take it out of the refrigerator about an hour before. Okay. And that way it's not so cold. All right, so now we're gonna take this to the oven. What are we roasting it on? 325. For about? Uncovered. Yeah. Just try to get it in the middle of the oven. And okay, for about how long? Like About five hours. All right, we're going in. Let's do it. Well, Our pork is done. It smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. So how do we know it's done? Most importantly, it takes a lot of time. So low and slow, but... It's been in there for what, like four hours? Five hours. This time. Five hours, my it's God. It's a big one. This is a big guy, yeah. So you want to tap the skin. You get that really good, crispy chicharron. That chicharron right there. You can just see it. You can just see it. So good. And then what we made sure is that while we were roasting it, we just gave it, you know, gave it some turns, made sure that everything was getting really nice and golden brown. And even. All right, we're gonna carve it up and put it on a platter. Let's do it. All right. So here you have it, roasted pork. It's ready. To perfection. We carved it up, and when you carve it up, you just wanna make sure that all those perfect little skin pieces. Like the best sound. So good. Don't get any of the mojo that it cooked under, and all of these watery onions, yummy onions. Yeah, put them on the side or on the meat, and then you just, the last thing to do really is, is to serve. So a little bit of the skin. A little bit of the onions, as usual. I'll just pick at it. All right. All right. Enjoy. Buen provecho.